Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, Rashad had an amazing revelation. Something clicked inside of him. And when you get a revelation from God, what happens is the thing you knew with your mind registers in a whole new way. I hope you enjoy this amazing testimony because revelation doesn't come often. But I'm telling you, it is totally eye-opening when it does. God bless you as you listen. He literally died for us. Just think about that. He literally died for us. Mm -hmm. Every single sin that we are going to commit, every time we sin, Jesus is being whipped. Mm. Mm. I said that scourged. Yeah. He's been scorched every single time mm -hmm. we sin against God. Mm -hmm. And it, it dawned on me like, man, we do deserve, we don't deserve God's grace. We don't. Like, I used to think, man, we're, we're not perfect. We're, we're human. No, we literally don't deserve God's grace. We deserve that place that he created for the devil. Because mm -hmm. when you think about it, a God that is perfect and blameless did nothing wrong but because he loved me so much he loved me he personally died for me at the hands of his, his own grace. creation <laughs> and, a, and his own creation mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. took everything the, the slapping him and questioning mm -hmm. him and not but and the most thing not being accepted by his own creation right he took on all of that and on top of that he took on every single sin that every single man, every single woman in this world is going to create. Yeah. That's going to commit. He took on every single sin. Do you know how heavy that is? Mm -hmm. Do you realize how heavy that is? No, I can't no even can, wrap my mind no around. Burn, yeah. No one can, 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 how did it go? Can bear the burden of sin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of that magnitude. That's right. So God took on all of that for us. And but but not just for us, but for you. Personal, just think about it. Personal, mm -hmm. and That's I right. sit here every day and choose to sin against a God that loved me so much that He died in my place. Yeah, and created and made a way for me to live through Him. Yeah, through Him, His yeah. life, mm -hmm. He gave me a new life. Mm -hmm. That's why when people walk and say, "Oh, I want to live my own life. I'm my own God." No, you're not. That's Your right. life is dead. It's death. You don't have a life. That's right. You don't have a life. Right. You don't have anything. The reason why you're living is because of God, Jesus, right. who died for us. Right. That's why we're living. Mm -hmm. And when you reject him, you reject the life. And, when, and if you reject the life, you reject the, the son of God. That's right. Light. And if you reject light, you, what do you accept with that? You're accepting darkness. And it's like, man, I, it really, it really dawned me like when I was, you know, really just talking with God that day in it. And I was really, you know, spending time with him. I never had this type of revelation, that magnitude where I understood like, and I'm not leaning on to my understanding, but just receiving from God what he wanted me to receive that day. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me, I died for you. That's enough to, to cover any doubt, any, you know, anything that you, you don't believe, you don't trust me. Just trust that I died. <laughs> That's it. Just trust that I died for you, and trust that I you I, you belong to me. You don't have to worry about anything. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That means here in the land of the living too. You're not to perish in the land of the living. You are to thrive.